This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Testpreparder.com provides free audio visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties, free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY, Olympiad, etc. It provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. Dear students, in this chapter, I am going to discuss about the atom and its structure. Now, before I discuss anything here, I wanted to ask you that can you define atom? According to you, what is an atom? Think about it. Many of you uh, must be thinking about Dalton's atomic theory. Many of you must be aware of Dalton's atomic theory. Those who are not aware, uh, I will tell you, according to Dalton, atom is the smallest indivisible part of the matter. Atom is the smallest indivisible part. of matter if i consider an apple and if i divide this apple into parts the ultimate part which cannot be divided further according to dalton is the atom actually uh, this word atom is derived from a Greek word. Greek word atomio. The meaning of atomio is not divisible. Non divisible. Uh, actually, Dalton gave this theory in about 1808 at that time he was not aware of the subatomic particles like protons neutrons electrons so when these subatomic particles were discovered new theories came into picture to explain structure of the atom now before i discuss those theories before I discuss those theories, I wanted to discuss the meaning of science with you. Do you know what is science? Many of you may define science as study of physics, chemistry, biology. Many of you may say science uh, as the study of environment or provide explanation what is happening around us, etc. etc. But imagine if you become a scientist, if you become a scientist, then what will you do? Now, to understand science, 
रिकॉल एनी थियरी और एनी साइंस विच यू हैव स्टडी फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव स्टडी डेरिवेशन ऑफ एफ इज इक्वल टू एम ए रिकॉल द फर्स्ट लाइन विच वॉज रिटर्न यू कैन रिकॉल द लाइन इट वॉज लेट अस एस्यूम Similarly, if you recall uh, many theories of chemistry like Rutherford's theory, their postulates were there. Postulate means assumption. So science is actually assumptions. Science or theories actually these are assumptions. now on what basis scientist propose assumptions a scientist proposes assumptions on the basis of experimental observations experimental observations they conduct experiments they get observations and on the basis of those observations or facts a scientist proposes a uh, science or theory so uh, in 19th century also there were many scientists like faraday thomson they were conducting many experiments to find out whether atom is divisible or not so here i am going to discuss one of those experiments but to understand atom in a better manner or to understand atomic structure in a better manner consider yourself in the past and from that past we will come to present time and in between we will try to find the structure of the atom so here i am going to discuss one of those experiments so that name of the experiment is cathode rays discharge tube experiment in this experiment a glass tube was taken two electrodes were attached with the battery the electrode which was attached with the negative pole of the battery was a cathode the electrode which was attached with the positive pole of the battery was no gas was taken in the tube and a vacuum pump was attached to control the pressure inside the tube and the glass tube was coated with fluorescent material like zns now <clears throat> in the experiment when the pressure inside the tube was taken as 1 atm and voltage was about 10000 volt you can imagine how high voltage is this 
when the pressure was 1 atm voltage was 10000 volts we found at that time nothing happened nothing happened when we took these two now we have two option either we change pressure or we change voltage you can see if we change voltage we need to change this battery and that will increase the cost of the experiment so uh, it is good if you change pressure now when the pressure was changed from 1 atm to 0.01 atm keeping the same voltage 10000 it was found that current flows now something happened when in any experiment something happens uh, in that situation our expectations will increase so here also same thing uh, we since this happened when we decreased pressure so we tried to decrease this pressure further and this time we kept pressure about 0.001 atm keeping the same voltage 10000 volts and this time we found that the tube glows with the different colors these were the observations now after these observations uh, when further investigation was done we found that the fluorescence in the tube was due to some rays originating or coming from cathode and we gave the name to these rays as cathode rays later on we found that these cathode rays are made up of negatively charged material particles negatively charged negatively charged and having mass now to know uh, whether only one type of rays are there or more rays we conducted this same experiment but this time we took a perforated cathode same glass tube but this time we took a cathode that was perforated holes were there similar anode the two electrodes attached with battery in similar manner we took gas and vacuum pump to control the pressure now when high voltage was applied when high voltage was applied we found that a new type of rays streaming behind the cathode actually this time we applied fluorescent this side and this was glowing and this is possible only if rays come from a node side and that is why we gave name to these rays as anode rays or q 
Kinal Reis. And later on, uh, by investigation, we found that these rays are made up of positively charged, positively charged material particles. Let me tell you a few more things about the experimental observation. In the absence of electric or a magnetic field, these rays travel in a straight line. They travel in a straight line. And in the presence of electric and magnetic field, Cathode rays behave similar to as expected by negatively charged particles and anode rays behave similar to as expected by positively charged particles. The negatively charged particles of cathode rays were named electrons. And in case of positively charged particles of anode rays, we said positive ions. Now you think about the experiment, the observations, and you think about my few doubts. Listen carefully. My first question is, why do we call this experiment as discharge tube experiment? Why do we say discharge tube experiment? My second doubt. Why do we require low pressure inside the tube? Why do we require low pressure in the tube? I will discuss these doubts, but before that, you think about these doubts. My third doubt is, uh, what will happen if the pressure is extremely low? If, the, if we decrease pressure to a very, very, very low value. So, what will happen if the pressure is very, very low? And my last doubt is, why do we require such a high voltage? Think about these doubts. Use your pause button and then think. I will discuss uh, these doubts after this. Log on to www.testpripadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics, to download free revision notes, to take free chapter-wise online tests, progressive test and mock test. To discuss doubts with mentors. Thank you for watching the video. To stay up to date with the latest videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on our Facebook page, Test Prep Adda. All the best.